welcome to Mash Talk, the show where we catch up with the most interesting people in tech. I'm your host, Mashable Tech Editor Pete Paschal. This is a very special edition of Mash Talk. I'm super excited. We're here at CES, CES 2019. I am now sitting down with Ring founder Jamie Siminoff. Did I, am I getting that right? You did. You did actually. Oh, good. Yeah, you pronounced Ring absolutely perfect. <laughs> well, I've been practicing all week. Um, so thanks for coming to the show. Thanks for and having me. Sitting down with us. Um, so what's new with you guys? Uh, so we launched, uh, I think it was 13 new products okay. uh, today, which is Lucky pretty, pretty exciting. Lucky 13, as they say in Vegas. Um, so we have our door view camera, which replaces your like door view or your peephole, uh, now with a, a kind of a ring video doorbell. Um, Why would I want to do that? So what we learned, and, and partly I learned it because my email's on every single box. Someone moved, they'd have a ring video doorbell at their house, they'd move to an apartment or to a building where they couldn't have a, a doorbell there. And they wanted that same you know, peace of mind and that same impact that Ring was making for them. And we realized that the peephole was a perfect place to you know, you just unscrew that, screw back in this sort of you know, peephole with a camera, uh, motion detection, and now you can get that same peace of mind as the Ring video doorbell uh, with your sort of more densely populated units. Nice, and so uh, battery operated, I presume. Battery operated, the battery's on the backside of the door, so there's a little sort of thing on the backside of the door. You can still see through the peepholes, we actually left a peephole through, so you can still go oh, up and wow. see through it. The battery is removable and rechargeable, so it's really easy to just take it off, recharge it, put it back on the door. How long does it last? Uh, for this one, we think about four to six months. Oh, that's impressive. Yeah. And so, uh, but it still like does motion detection, it does the whole... It's a motion detection, and it has a, we built a special motion detection for this because in a building, people could be walking by all day. Sure, yeah. You don't want that motion. You want when someone waits. And so there's actually like a wait sensor. So if someone's in front of your door, you can get notified. But if they just walk by, you don't get notified. Nice. And then we also did a door knock one because we don't okay. think people are going to be used to like pushing a doorbell on a right. door. And so they'll obviously still knock. And so then it'll tell you if they're knocking. Wow. OK, so that's really interesting. Um, it's just, I, I just, I, this probably chip technology-wise isn't something you could have done until the last few years to kind of get that sensor that can sort of always yeah. be scanning for something. And because uh, with uh, like I presume the battery is pretty like this is a small device. I mean, overall, ba your... like, if you look at like cameras with batteries, that is something that it really is the last few years. That's been something that really is achievable um, for a good customer experience. Cool. So that's the big thing you uh, talked about. Give me a few of the other highlights. So that's one of the big things. We launched smart outdoor lighting. So we realized, and this was an interesting one also, we were getting customers sending us videos where someone's like, you know, climbing over a fence. The, our floodlight cam, the, the lights would go on. They'd see the light come on, they'd run. And so we realized right. that, that just that, that security lighting is, is a huge part of delivering presence and actually our mission of reducing crime in neighborhoods. And so it's a, a really effective and affordable way to do that. So we came out with a whole line, eight different products, smart outdoor lighting. It's the first smart outdoor lighting set of products. So now right. you can turn on, turn off your outdoor lights, have them all connected. So you drive up your driveway, all your lights turn on all around the house, um, delivering that presence. And we think that's gonna be a, a great one as well. And then a few more alarm accessories, biggest one being the uh, smoke and CO detector. So it's a listener that goes next to your current fire detector. And so you don't have to replace anything, you just put it next to it. And now our alarm for $10 a month does all your home security plus smoke and CO um, uh, for professional monitoring. Nice. So, you know, people I know who have your products, uh, they love them. You guys did a, a lot in terms of awareness in the category, I practically invented it. Um, but now if, I feel like there's a lot of competition. Like there's the, the last year I've gotten pitched from uh, the likes of Nest uh, and uh, Slim Simply Safe and others. Uh, getting into the video doorbell business. How is that affecting you guys? How do you sort of stay differentiated? So I've always told our team from day one, if we focus on our mission of reducing crime in neighborhoods, if we're able to continue to impact our neighbors, what we call our customers, in a positive way, they'll continue to reward us with their business. And so far, I think the numbers show that they're rewarding us with their business. And um, do, you, do you see, uh, like, uh, I guess are are the the way these guys are doing their their stuff. Do you do you have feature, specific features that you think are big differentiators? Um, are you learning anything about sort of why people 
go for one brand and not yours? Is so. so I think I think the biggest differentiator for Ring is you're buying into an experience. You know, Ring is an experience that is there to make you and your neighborhood and your neighbors safer. Um, we do that through our neighbors app that's built into the Ring app, uh, which we have millions of users on that. So we really are, we're impacting crime in neighborhoods. We're not focused on the features. We're not focused on what type of plastic is going out. Or, and I think that's the differentiator between us and competitors is they're focused on the features. They're focused on trying to sell you a product. We're trying to sell you a better life, a better sort of better way of living, a safer neighborhood. And I think that is the differentiator that really has allowed Ring to stay so successful. I'm curious, did you see that, um, it was a viral video from like a month or two ago, it was the guy who, uh, he was the NASA engineer, and yeah. he developed the, the this package. The glitter bomb. The glitter bomb, and you know, um, uh, first, what did you think of that? I mean, I think it's, uh, it was a fun viral video. It turned out, I think it was his friends were the ones that took the packages and actually were the ones that were oh, like so on there. Like so it was a, but it was still a fun thing. I think one thing on the serious side, and I think where this stuff can be fun to watch but can get bad, is vigilantism. Right. And I think we've always tried to take the approach that the police are who enforces crime and that as a homeowner you don't want to be, or as an individual or a citizen, you don't want to be trying to enforce crime. That can put you in very bad situations. And so as fun as that is, I think we have to always be careful to make sure that we're truly making everyone safer and, and being thoughtful about that because it, it, you, you can quickly go into a place where, you know, like these criminals are real, like they're not good. Yeah, they're, well, you know? that's what that video did, and again, like fake or not, I think it, uh, it touched on something that is a sort of a concern or a criticism of these, these doorbell cameras in that you, um, it's fine, it's one thing to get footage, it's another thing to actually catch the guy. You know so, what I mean? So, yeah, and we have a high rate of capture, especially on package theft, because right. most package thieves we've now been able to find are local to the community. And so, so through our Neighbors app, we actually have had a lot of people caught uh, on the package thefts because someone recognizes them from the neighborhood. Um, what's next for you guys? Yeah, again, like mission to reduce crime in neighborhoods. Uh, we, you know, we're just going to continue to build and innovate products around that, uh, where we can partner with people that are doing things that make it better for us, like door locks. We're doing that, and where we see that there's no one building and innovating in an area like outdoor smart lighting, we're going to build that. So we're going to build in places where we invent stuff that that where there are other people are not doing it for our customers, and where they're doing a good job, like in locks right now. We're just going to partner and and do that. So we're kind of, that's really the next couple of years is going to be, I think, just trying to, to build out lines of products that help make neighborhoods safer. Cool. Well, thanks so much for dropping by. Hey, thank you. Awesome. All right.